growing up as identical twins, we had like so much attention. We felt just not feeling normal between other people that were born uh, single. Because we were never put with other uh, twins because my mom wanted us to feel like everyone else. But that wasn't the case. It was not the case. They do this parade for, for twins. We, we never knew about this till a couple of years ago. So it's our third annual year, but this was going on for like 10 years and we never knew about it. My mom should have mentioned it to us, but uh, I guess that wasn't important to them. My mom's character, she, she had a big heart, my mom. She was a model. She was absolutely gorgeous, my mom. Back then, it was get married, have children. So she got married early in her life, got married 21 years old. My, my father had a, an opportunity to work at the Dudes Hotel in Las Vegas. He didn't like winter, so he moved the family there. So they bought a house, my mom got a maid. Uh, he did everything for her. My grandmother and my grandfather were there visiting my mom. They went out for a walk. She came back and she says, I'm moving back to Montreal. I miss my, my parents a lot. The grandparents and my, my mom all moved back to Montreal. Then, where and behold, she found out she was pregnant. She was 27 years old. She was alone. She ended up being on welfare because she had to, to take care of us, but she went to drink a lot. That's when the social welfare took us. There was one point where we were separated. They found out that we couldn't handle being apart. My mom, at the age of around four years old, she took us back. She found out that she was okay. She started to collect welfare and she started to take care of us. So between zero and four years old, we didn't bond with my mom because she didn't have that motherly uh, connection, you know? But she tried her best though. Yeah, my mom got an apartment. It was wonderful, it was just us three. And finally we're together, finally we're stable. Do we have normal rooms? No, we were, we were sleeping on lawn chairs. I remember she always fed us. We, had, we were always warm. But emotionally and mentally, she did not take care of us. We always wondering where our daddy was. She erased, kind of tried to erase that part of our, our lives. But then one day, uh, she used to tell us about this man, her boyfriend. She met this guy named Roger. She met him uh, at a, a dancing place. That's what, that's what she told us. Then my mom introduced us. This is your Uncle Roger. And um, we're looking at each other and we're like, Uncle Roger, my mom was a tough woman. So we had to always like obey her or else we, we, we get in deep trouble. She used to go shopping a lot and she used to leave us alone with this person, her boyfriend. Um, she was very spoiled, my mom. I guess this was her gift to him. And uh, yeah, he was quite, he was abusive. He used to walk around naked. I mean, we were five years old, five, six years old. He used to walk around naked in the apartment. I couldn't bring myself to tell my mom um, what he used to do. I used to scream and yell consistently when she used to come back home, don't leave us alone with him. And I remember him being naked at one point, sitting on the couch. He used to ask me for $2 to go down on him. He used to say, don't worry, I'm not gonna hurt you, Joanne. I told my twin sister, I'm gonna tell mother. And then she used to say, no, you can't tell, or okay, we can't tell, and she likes this guy. I said, no, we have to tell her. And that's when she said, you have to keep it quiet. So money and things were more important to her than what was happening to us.
So then this is when we start to feel closed in. This is when, and, and she used to say, I'm gonna, I'll be a mean mother to you guys if you tell. So we, we grew up like that. And my real father in Las Vegas passed away. We didn't even know we had brothers and sisters, two sisters and, and, a, and a brother. And we're like, who are all these people? We kept the secret still. Joanne used to say, well, let's go tell our older sister what happened. And I said, well, if we tell, the, if we tell her what happened, we're all gonna be separated again. She tried her best. We did not have love with her, ever. Because when she was here, I swear to God, she never said she was sorry. She was a hard woman. We saw a lot of abuse in the house. She was a woman who could never say she was sorry. But today, we feel her love like we've never felt before. And that's how I feel about you know, the twin parade, because we feel a sense of peace in my heart. Today we're celebrating and we just feel normal. That's, in, that's important.